The Movie Trivia Schmodown Singles Championship is the most prestigious belt in all of the league. Only the best of the best get the chance to hold it. If you're able to work your way to the top of the mountain, that's undeniable proof of your vast movie trivia knowledge and your superior gameplay. On today's episode of Profiles, we're gonna recap all of the singles championship matches that we've had so far. With Oyama defending his belt in a few weeks, here's a look back at the singles belt and all of those who have fought valiantly for it. So before people started taking the belt from one another, somebody had to claim it in the first place. The first ever championship match occurred on October 23rd, 2014, between Mark Riley and, surprisingly enough, Josh Makuga. The rules were very different back then, the setup was super casual, there was a lot of multiple choice, there were dramatic wagers, and remember when Ask a Schmo was a thing? Weird rules or not, the favorite of the match Mark Riley won 14-12 and became the first champion. Now Mark Riley holds the record for the longest amount of time to hold a belt, but that's probably because his first defense was a whopping 553 days after he beat Makuga. On April 29th, 2016, Mark Riley went up against the Trisanatoratops himself, JTE. In hindsight, these early matches are funny to look back on because I don't know if anybody would currently expect Riley to absolutely destroy JTE with a score of 17 to 7, but hey, anything happens in the Schmodown. Riley learned that anything can happen in the Schmodown on July 8th, 2016, when Dan Merle busted through the ranks and dominated his way into a title shot. This domination continued when Merle began his first reign and started generating buzz as the greatest of all time with an 18 to 15 victory over Mark Riley. On August 26th, 2016, Merle looked for his first title defense against newcomer Clark Wolf. While Wolf was just as much of a contender in 2016 as she was throughout her entire career, this was not her finest day. Merle's domination continued with an 11-4 victory over Wolf. Later that year in the inaugural Schmodown Spectacular on December 23rd, 2016, Dan Merle came face to face with one of the creators of the game, Mark Ellis. In a super underrated title match, Merle became the first champion to defend a belt twice with a close 23-20 win over Baby Carrots. In the next season on February 17th, 2017, an unstoppable force in Dan Merle came up against an immovable object in John Roca. In one of the most iconic Schmodown moments of all time, Roca took the belt from his now partner, the GOAT Dan Merle, with a 21-20 win. On April 21st, 2017, Roca came up against someone who knew all about that singles belt in the former champ, Mark Riley. In one of the more defensive, slow burn title matches that we had seen yet, Riley reclaimed his belt with an 18-16 victory over Roca. On July 7th, 2017, we saw a truly special moment in Schmodown history. Forget Jeopardy's GOAT tournament, this was the championship match of all championship matches. Riley, Merle, and Roca all going head to head. With a performance that came close to being perfect, Merle defeated his then rivals and current teammates with a 26 to 22 to 13 victory. Shortly after that match, Dan Merle had to defend his newly reclaimed belt against free for all winner Sam Levine. On one of the most impressive nights in Schmodown history, Merle put up back-to-back near-perfect performances, beating Sam Levine 26-23. On September 15th, 2017, we saw Merle going up for another defense against yet another creator of the game, Christian Harloff. In an oddly low-scoring match, Harloff beat Merle 14-13, and we wouldn't see Dan Merle again for a little while. On December 22nd, 2017's Schmodown Spectacular 2, Harloff faced tournament winner Sam Levine. Between Harloff's exhaustion from hosting and announcing that night, and the fact that this was during Sam Levine's big run for greatest of all time contention, this was a lopsided 15-7 match, with Sam coming out on top. Levine looked to continue his great run of form in a title defense against Rachel Cushing on March 6th, 
2018. Sam's incredible domination of the entire league proved to be too much for Rachel, and he walked away with a 22-21 victory. On May 18th, 2018, Levine came up against yet another member of the Fife Club in Clark Wolf. Yet again, in another close match, Levine could not be beat. He won 1918 and subsequently retired at the peak of the mountaintop. On August 21st, 2018, we saw a rematch of one of the greatest matches ever in Mark Andreco taking on William the Beast Bibiani. In a super close match, just like the last time they met, Bibiani beat Andreco with a score of 1918 as he claimed the singles belt. On October 26, 2018, we saw a very heated rivalry come to an end with Bibiani taking on John Roca. Roca put in one of his typical great performances and he beat Bibbs 23 to 18. On December 21st, 2018, at Spectacular 3, John Roca came up against the league's newest star, Ethan Irwin. In a classic Ethan Irwin performance, he beat Roca 20 to 17 and took the singles belt away from him. And finally making it to this season, we have February 1st of 2019's live championship match with Ethan Irwin taking on Dan Merle. With Dan putting in a perfect game, he beat the seemingly impossible to beat Irwin with a score of 25 to 23. On May 3rd, 2019, Merle went up against former champion William Bibiani. In a lower scoring match than what you would expect from these two, Merle became the first singles champion to defend the belt four times after beating Bibbs 17 to 14. On July 19th, 2019, we saw a battle of old school versus new school as Merle took on former fan league competitor Paul Oyama. The young blood of the Schmodown ended up victorious as Oyama beat Merle 20 to 19. And in the most recent title defense, we saw another live event on September 6th, 2019 as Oyama took on first-time singles championship contender Jeff Snyder. In a match that featured a little bit of controversy, Oyama defended his belt with a 16-15 victory. So with all that in mind and Oyama defending against either Bateman or Bibiani, there's only one question left to ask. Who you got? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.